Cook Islands, we are orators. We use our voices to express our emotions through songs, chants and hymns. We sing in celebration, we chant in the face of competition, and we pass ancient legends down to our children as a means of teaching them right and wrong. The legend of Aketairi speaks of a beautiful and heroic maiden whom led the women of Mokoero to defeat the intruders to their village with only green coconut sheaths as weapons. Our ancient warriors are painted as unbreakable, symbols of strength, resilience and toughness. We, as Cook Islanders, and the Pacific region as a whole, have gained global notoriety as being warriors. Here in the Cook Islands, we have a tendency to live this warrior complex, this need to seem like we are okay all of the time. If we present ourselves as strong and withstanding defeat, we are warriors, and if we express weakness and struggle, we often fear the risk of being rejected, frowned upon, overlooked or even teased. It is because of this that a great deal of stigma exists around talking about mental health. Life has taught me that struggle is inevitable. We can encounter stresses at any point in our lives, but expecting ourselves and those around us to cope silently is unhealthy and unrealistic. The loss of a loved one is heartbreaking. Having lost a sister, although devastating, it has taught me that the true strength lies in how we cope with struggle. It's not about having the traits of a legendary warrior. I am deeply passionate about mental health awareness. Mental health refers to our emotional, psychological and social well-being. It's about how we think, feel and behave. With a bachelor's degree in psychology and a minor in Pacific studies, I've made it my mission to redefine the modern day warrior to change the perception of mental health within the Cook Islands by realizing that the suppression of our feelings is in fact a weakness. We are not brave when we live in denial. We are only falling victim to our suffering. We are brave when we use our voice. The reality is that we are an isolated paradise. More often than not, we lack resources, more specifically, medical resources. Mental health is by far the most under-resourced and understaffed sector within the Ministry of Health. There is only one resident psychiatrist in the Cook Islands, up against a population of just under 18,000 people scattered over 14 islands. The prevalence of mental illness is profound. One in four people will endure some level of poor mental health in their lifetime, two-thirds of whom will never seek help. Stigma and discomfort about mental health as well as a lack of awareness are key reasons why people fail to reach out for help and resort to suffering in silence. Herein lies the problem for which I am determined to tackle and why I began my own awareness foundation, Tokureo, meaning my voice. Tokureo is my foundation that encourages reaching out, seeking help and inspiring discussions about mental health. These are all things that require a great deal of courage and bravery, and therefore these are traits of what a modern-day warrior should be. Through my foundation, I have been able to educate young people so that they are better informed about mental health and the importance of open discussion. It has also enabled me to provide an accessible and community-specific resource for Cook Islanders and as a mental health ambassador to the National Commission to UNESCO. I have been fortunate to meet with various dignitaries, educators, mental health workers and physicians to discuss the impact of mental health in our country, the resources currently available and the ways in which we can improve the current situation. Through the empowerment and education of our people, I am committed to continuing to work toward improving mental health here in the Cook Islands. Nobody should ever suffer in silence. We are a nation of warriors and a community of powerful voices. Tokureo! 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 Tokureo. My voice, your voice, our voice. <laughs>